Record rainfall has caused floods in four states and warning of more rain in the next few days. Over uh, 138 people have died in rain-related incidents, including multiple landslides in Maharashtra. The deaths include 47 people who died in a landslide in the coastal Raigar district, about uh, 70 kilometers from the state capital of Mumbai. Several districts in the state, primarily in the Konkan region, have been receiving incessant rain over the past few days, leaving thousands stranded in floods and landslides. The Satara district in western Maharashtra has also been battered by the rain and several people have reportedly been swept away by flood waters. Other fatalities have been reported from Chandrapur. Even North Karnataka districts are badly affected with the floods. And while the real picture of damage to life, property, livelihood is really beginning to emerge now, uh, in flood affected Chiplun town of Ratnagiri district, one of the worst hit, shopkeepers are reporting heavy losses and damages to their stocks. Recovery, they say, could take years. Saurabh Gupta reports. After the devastating flood in Chiplon town, the sun is out today and of course cleaning and restoration and re you know restarting of businesses is slowly beginning to happen but the extent of the damage is still visible from shops like these you can see people are just barely clearing out the slush in uh, these areas of course there's an ice cream parlor here there's a sari shop and of course there is uh, there is of course uh, you know a hardware shop i'll try and get uh, the person in uh, you know the owner of the shop uh, to try and speak to us to give us a sense of how high the water was sir hame ye bataiye ki pani kitna tha kitna nuksan hua kahan tak pani pahuncha aapke dukan mein kuch bacha hai kuch nahi bacha hai upar pankha hai ceiling pe pankha hai bas ho gaya itna pani hai to itna pani tha andar theek hai और इस दुकान में भी वही हालत वो सेम एक ही साइज के सब है कि पूरा ही टोटल पूरा पूरा अंदर और मट्टी इतना है कि पूछो मत इसमें साफ भी नहीं हो रहा है चिपलून का लाइफ खत्म हो गया पूरा लाइफ चिपलून का कम से कम एक 15 साल तो जाएंगे ऊपर आने के लिए नहीं ऐसे बार देखे पहले 65 का देखा 65 में देखा हां 2005 को देखा इसके ऊपर है इसके ऊपर है आदमी उठ नहीं सकता ठीक है so obviously, you know, massive flooding, people are picking up the pieces uh, and for the administration too, it's going to be a tough job to assess the damage, to pay compensation because practically everything has been washed out, as you can see. Whether it's the small businesses or medium-sized businesses, everyone has suffered in this massive flood in Chiplun. So obviously, the situation is still severe. Waters have receded, people are beginning to pick up the pieces, but that doesn't mean the crisis is over, the situation is still severe. In Chiplun, with camera person Rajendra Dhyalkar, Saurabh Gupta, NDTV. Well, my colleague Saurabh Gupta has been reporting from Ground Zero, traversing across different areas of flood hit Maharashtra, where remember the death toll has now risen to 138, and these are just the official figures the death toll is anticipated to be higher as the real extent of the damage will only be known once waters begin to recede meanwhile uh, remember there are floods uh, that are being reported in four states across the country at the moment uh, railway services have been hit uh, roads highways have been blocked as, as a result of uh, uh, landslides that have been reported in several areas. Saurabh Gupta in fact joins us live at the moment. He is uh, on the uh, the Mumbai Bangalore Highway. Stand Saurabh, back. what more can you tell us? Uh, where are you exactly at the moment and what are you seeing? Well, you know, the pictures tell the story. In fact, you know, this is of course right in the middle of the Mumbai uh, Bangalore Highway. It's one of the main highways of the country connecting two of the most important cities uh, in India. And of course, uh, this is on the side of the highway. You can see the flood waters completely engulfing houses. Uh, in fact, the rooftops of a few houses are available in the distance. These are low lying areas. People, of course, have already been rescued from here, is what we're being told. But if I can ask my camera person to pan and show you uh, the highway. Of course, you can see a truck also submerged in the water. So the reason the highway is shut is because the flood waters are flowing through the highway onto the other side. And that's the reason why no traffic can move between, uh, you know, this part of the highway, which is the Mumbai side towards the Bengaluru side and vice versa. And you can see, of course, that truck there. 
uh, also completely submerged. The police have stopped traffic here. They barricaded the road a little distance ahead. And uh, that's the state of the Mumbai Bengaluru Highway, one of the most important highways in the country. On the other side also you have the Mumbai Goa Highway, which is also blocked. And that highway is blocked because the Veshishti uh, River, which flooded Chiplun on the other side, also has uh, sort of weakened an old bridge that uh, runs over the river so that highway is also stopped this highway is also stopped so anyone traveling from mumbai to goa simply cannot do so by road because both the routes uh, the this is of course a circuitous route but the mumbai goa highway and the mumbai bangalore highway uh, is also completely uh, you know stopped for traffic as you can see now and that's the situation of course for the mumbai goa highway there's an alter route, alternate route available for smaller vehicles but trucks buses cannot use that route and the Mumbai Bengaluru highway also completely stopped to all kinds of traffic because of the flood waters completely engulfing the highway behind me as you can see in these pictures. Right, Saurabh, and what you're learning is that uh, a conservative estimate at the moment is that 138 people are feared dead in these floods. Uh, you're also reporting on the fact that uh, over 90,000 people have been evacuated to safety. The fear is that this number, the death toll could actually be much higher. Yes, there is that fear and the fear is that once the flood waters begin to recede, there could be, uh, you know, more discoveries and also uh, the, um, ex the true extent of the damage will be known only once the flood waters completely recede. But if you take a look at this highway, if you take a look at these areas, it will give you an idea of how bad the situation is. And this is triggered by extremely erratic rainfall. Now, look at this weather. It's sunny right now. Uh, but, you know, the rain comes in sudden spells. What is supposed to be even rainfall spread out over the entire monsoon sometimes is falling in a span of days. Uh, the entire month's rainfall spanning in, uh, in, a, in, a, in a matter of uh, falling in a matter of days. Uh, freak weather patterns, of course, attributed to climate change is making, you know, these low lying areas very, very vulnerable. And the floodwaters in these areas are an example of that. And which is why, you know, uh, while, you know, there are many who question climate change, the fact is that once you see these visuals, one would get an idea of how it can affect not only lives but livelihoods. The entire area is completely underwater. And these are waters, rainwater that has fallen in just a span of few days. Erratic weather patterns, erratic rainfall patterns, rainfall not evenly spread out all over the monsoon is causing havoc in Maharashtra. 138 lives lost. That figure unfortunately may go up. And of course, livelihood also largely have floods like these when you have major highways blocked, commerce, industry, economy, everything suffers. And that's what's exactly happening because this is, uh, remember, connecting uh, one, you know, one would say the IT capital to the financial capital. That's the role of this road. Two most important cities connected by this highway and now completely stopped to traffic because of floodwaters engulfing the highway here. As you can see, the truck, which is you know a, 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 a vehicle that should be able to uh, monitor some uh, you know uh, navigate some amount of water even that has failed to navigate the kind of flood water levels on the highway itself as a result of which the mumbai bengaluru highway has been shut for traffic